Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Whoopi speaking. And uh, we are going for the part two of this attempt to uh, try a Lockridge device. But we will concentrate now on the one pulse per revolution motor. Okay, I have changed the setup as you can see. To make a simple one, always a two. Magnets, two pairs of magnets, positive and negative on each side, which are sandwiched on this very, very, very thin coil here. As you can see, 0 0.8 ohm and 4 millimeter diameter copper wire, and really, really thin. As you can see, only 3 millimeter. And when I put the magnet inside, is very thin, only one millimeter on each side. Okay, but for tonight, what I wanted to show you, it is my first attempt to make a prony brake to see if this motor can have some power. For tonight, uh, it will be no datas because this setup is much, much too small to get really something good. But just to give you some idea how we can do it. You see here, it is a pinch on the axle of the motor. Inside this pinch I've put Neomag above and under. So they clip as they are attra uh, attracted to the axle. This is here some Neomag so I can stack to make a weight so you can see what happened the more weight the more torque of course and this is some guiding system always my small schematic here with a buzz 11 tonight and the big cap I will try to show you the useful of the cap or not okay Hello, let's go now. As you can see, sorry for the movement, if I turn the rotor, it cannot turn very freely because it is broken, it is, it is breaking by the prony brake here. Okay, now we put here under the whole sensor, very near from the small magnet here, you see, and we will start. Okay, for the starting now we'll put 15, almost 16 volts and we go. What I want to see is if, oh yes, with speed the prony bag go up. If I shut down now, So we need some speed and what was the, the aim of this one pulse motor is to see if the torque goes up with the increasing RPM. As a test, we go up. At the beginning slowly, no torque, higher speed, more torque and full torque. Go down. Higher torque and full torque. Very good. Now, so it is for today. I will show you the importance of the capacitor. So I put the power on and I will disconnect the capacitor, connect the capacitor. At the beginning, the capacitor is connected. Okay. Now I disconnect the capacitor. You see? I reconnect the capacitor. I disconnect the capacitor. And go down. So the capacitor seems to be useful. I'm not sure of all this, but uh, it's a good experience, isn't it? 
Good luck at all. Good night.